have imagined in my wildest dreams that you'll be having an office romance. You are a liar. You are a cheat. You are a shameless dog who will have an affair in any place, even in an office. Yes, yes. Excuse me. Why don't you stop this ranting? I've tried to talk sense into your head, but you wouldn't listen. You insist on making things difficult for me in this house. Okay? Suit yourself. Suit yourself! If that's your judgment, suit yourself and give me some peace. anymore. Grace, what's the use of all these complaints? What's the use? How do you mean? Hey, now, because wasn't it you that came here to my house like three months ago crying down this house that your husband has lost his job? So what? Hey, so where do you expect him to get money to buy all of these things that you have explained to me today now? All these things you're nagging about, where do you expect him to get the money to buy them from? Huh? How is that supposed to be my problem? Doesn't he have savings or something? I don't know. You should tell me, he's your husband. Can't you go out and get another job? Ha <laughs> Grace! Do you know how hard it is for anybody to get a job in this town now? And your husband goes out every day looking for a job there and now. You see his father has not gotten a job. Ha! Huh. This is not the Grace I used to know. I don't know what has happened. You have really changed. I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flora, please. Do not insult me because I came to your house. This now. So you want me to? So because I came to confide in you now, you 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 want to be blamed on me. That's not the point. You want me to write? I'm not your friend. I'm not supposed to. You didn't tell me the truth. No, you. I didn't tell you the truth. What have I done before? You why can't you find a job to do? Have something to do now. Have something to do here. Oh, 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 I made nice things, Sha. <laughs> I got you something nice too. Really? Sit down. <laughs> I can't sit down. Sit, sit down. down. You know, I try to find something that you would like on a day like this. Leonard. Went to the north and south and east and west. I couldn't get anything as beautiful as a flower I got for her. I got you a beautiful flower. I don't like flowers. You sure? I don't like flowers. This little flower. What is in your eyes? Uh, close your eyes. Are you mm -hmm. That one is open. <laughs> okay, they're closed. <laughs> okay, that's your flower. Happy birthday. Oh, yes, it's your car. Happy birthday. Oh, yes! <laughs> 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 well, on a day like this, um, I know that my wife deserves the best. Best, yes. Um, this is just a tip of the iceberg, and I know that in coming days we're going to have a big one. I want to say a happy birthday to my wife. I want to say a happy birthday to my girlfriend. <laughs> I want to say a happy birthday to my mother, my everything. <laughs> um, above all, I want to say a special happy birthday to the woman who has stood by my side all of these years, pushing me, urging me on. 
don't we have to? Oh. Jose that I married that can't live up to his expectations as a man. All these things will happen. Me. 5,000 men. Ah. Hi darling, you're back. I heard your voice from inside and uh, you're not happy. You got me upset. Come on darling, I'm talking to you. Get your hands up here and stop calling me darling. Flora, look at you. You have a wealthy husband, a lucrative business, and all the good things in life. Just a few days ago, your husband bought you a brand new car. But Flora, yes. look at me. I have absolutely nothing. Nothing like this one thing. I don't have it. Please take it easy. Take it easy. Ha! I've always told you, take it easy. Everything is going to be fine. Hey. When will that be, Flora? Soon. When? When I die of hunger? 
You will not die of hunger. Every day I wake up and regret ever getting married to that stupid god for taking Gozi of a man. Hey! Jesus, Father, forgive her. She does not know what she says. God, please, don't say things like that. The people are looking for husbands with problem. After everything, you'll be fine very soon. Oh, so what should we call you now? Fair weather wife? Look, Flora, you can call it whatever you want. Call me whatever you want. I don't care. I am tired. I'm tired. I understand. But everything will be fine very soon. I promise you, by God's grace, this God is not sleeping. Very soon, okay? Ah, fire brand. You can shout. Shout. Everyone will be quick. Yes, ma'am. What's your problem? Flora, you don't understand. So I have anything you want. Pick anything you want. Anything you want to Sorry, do. If I start picking things in this your shop, I will pack up now. Okay, okay Chief, I'll bring uh, back for your auntie. At least that will make you smile. I will get today now. Come back tomorrow and beg again. God I forbid. I husband that can provide. God forbid. God, you are not a beggar in Jesus' name. Uh -uh. It's going to shock you to your bone marrow. What is it, man? You're scaring me. Talk. What is it? I went to an eatery this afternoon. Uh -huh. Guess who I saw? Who? Flora. I saw Leonard with another woman. Your husband. Hi, Grace. Flora. Grace, you scared me now. Ah, my husband works with women now. What? Flora. Leonard and this woman were kissing. Feeding each other ice cream, doing all sorts of things in this restaurant. I be this itchy. Hmm? Everything. They were hugging, promoting, doing everything. Hmm. My dear. Who? My husband. Flora, I saw Leonard with another woman. Your husband. <laughs> Leonard. Kissing and feeding a girl in an eatery. No. Flora, I ah. was so ashamed when I saw. I was disappointed. I swear. Not this man. Grace. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Because I know the trouble you have been through today. And thank you for watching my back. But it is not your not. You know sometimes, this thing has happened to me too before. There's a way you look at somebody from an angle, eh? You just look at somebody from an angle. And the person looks like someone you know. Exactly. I'm sure someone that looks like Leonard. And maybe from the angle you are standing. You know, maybe the side view or something. I thought it was Leonard. But you know, you're not Leonard now. Ah, oh, God forbid, it's not yeah. Leonard. Don't worry, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Flora, I saw your husband with another woman. I left everything I had to do today to come here to tell you. I had to rush to the house, born here, I had to take Okada. Everything I had to do, I've not done, I've not done anything. And you're here telling me I don't know what I saw. No, Abby. It's not your fault. I'm not saying you don't know what No, no, no. My eyesight is bad now. No problem. And don't talk like this now, Grace. I don't like it. That's me. Abby, if I No, it's not your fault now. I'm the idiot that left I didn't say so. I didn't say so. I'm not saying so. I'm not saying so. I'm not saying so. Come now. Come for your house.
just about uh, where to go, actually, meet my wife. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Lawrence, you told me this meeting had been cancelled. Tonight. Now that means I have to get on the next available flight to Port Harcourt. Is that all? No, no, no. I'll, I'll come. I'll be there. Oh, yes. <laughs> the law don't even start. No, I'll be there. No problem. Uh, all right. so bad today. <sighs> and then all the phones, all the metals. Sam, I, I, I feel your pain. Just oh, calm down, Sam, okay? Hey, Don't tell me you saw him. Oh. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God.
very sorry. Oh yes, I am. It was a very urgent business meeting with my business colleagues in Port Harcourt. I tried to call you, but your line would not connect. I'm really sorry. You're not. Very impressive. Yeah. Extremely clever. A well thought out tale. Clever. Are you telling me that you don't believe me? Perhaps. The date you were on yesterday with some mysterious lady required an extended business appointment also. Huh? Damn it. How did you know about that? Hmm? Oh, yes. The lady in question is my new chief operating officer. Okay? We just went for lunch. You are not. You are not. Then it will become fashionable for you to go to lunch with your chief operating officer, eh? Yeah. Oh, please, please. Let me also drop this. That's her name. By virtue of her office, she should go with me to most of my business meetings. You should know that. So please, I'm sorry. And even that night you called, she was the one that picked your call. But by the time I got to the phone, the battery had gone down. And we were going in for the meeting. I'm sorry, my baby. I'm sorry, I won't hurt you. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Wait a minute. Not so fast. That reminds me. This protocol meeting you talk about now, you called me, Luna, to tell me it was cancelled. Do you remember? Yes, I called you. Oh, yes, I did. I told you the meeting was cancelled. I was actually preparing to come back home when Lawrence called to tell me that the meeting must hold that night. I immediately tried to call you, but your number wouldn't go through. I'm truly sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> Leonard, are you sure that you do not have anything ongoing with this woman? <laughs> What's funny? Listen, sweetheart, I would never ever, ever do such a thing to my beautiful wife. Hmm. Tell me now, Lena. I can take it now. Tell me now. If, if there is anything, let me know now. Hmm. If you want me to repeat that a million times, I will. I'm sorry, baby. Go on. It's all right. Fine. But, but you know, Lena, please, I beg you, let this never happen again. Do you know how scared you got me? No calls, nothing. Why don't you at least send a text? Okay, whatever, the phone went up, but at least, this is why I always insist on you taking your, 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 your battery, your charger, whatever, with anything you travel. It's okay. Can I say this? This will never, ever happen again. Don't smile. And there's Junior, is he? That boy has missed you. He's been asking for his daddy all, all, all night. How could you even be here alone in this house for my son? Why don't you want to Mirabel. 
Merhaba. Yes sir. This is my lovely wife. Good afternoon ma. Yeah, hi. Nice to meet you too. Same here ma. Okay. Well sir. Yeah. The meeting with the community bank is in an hour. Alright. I'll be leaving with the company lawyer. Now. Uh, that means it has to be immediate. Immediately sir. Okay. Alright. Alright. Let's go. Let me know when you come back. Okay sir. Okay. Yes, she was. Um, she was actually very highly recommended. Um, wow. Yes, and since she came in, there's been some serious level of changes in the office, and you know, in our entire general business activities. Oh, great. Um, she's been quite professional, really. Okay. Um, so, she's good. Oh, she is. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so in other words, my husband is. Quashing all competition. Uh, I can <laughs> say that again. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so what do I owe this? Uh... No, 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 no. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I just thought I should drop by and see my husband. And now that I have, I'm out here. Grace, you know, I really regretted it. Especially after my husband explained everything that happened to me. Do you know I actually even went to his office today to see this girl for myself? And the girl I saw in his office is actually very gentle, innocent looking, and extremely well behaved. A very good girl. Well, I believe that was a very prudent move. Yeah, pain can be very deceptive. No, 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 no. Not my husband. No, not my Leonard. You know, I shouldn't have been so quick to even judge him in the first place. No. Flora! Open your eyes and see. This is the second time I'm telling you this thing. Girl, you need to wake up. You're not the same flower I used to know. Another woman is out there trying to snatch your husband from you and you're here talking about gentility and innocence. Flora, I saw that woman kissing and feeding your husband in public. Does that sound gentle or innocent to you in any way? Does it? Don't say I didn't want you. Do not say I did not tell you. Anyways, it's your life. Do you come out for I guess. Ha! Ah, Flora, you're here. Hi, Josie. Hi. Welcome back. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Hi, honey, how are you today? Um, I'll just, uh, I'll just get my way. Hey, Flora, I hope I'm not the one pursuing you. Oh, no, 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 I was actually about to leave before you, you came in. It's okay. All right, let me see. No, sweetie, just stay back and take care of your husband. I'll, I'll see myself out, okay? Thank you. All right. All right. Your friend looked worried. Is there any problem? What business of yours is that? Hmm? Ah, sorry. <clears throat> Come back here. Where is the cream I asked you to buy for me? So how do you expect me to buy a cream when I tried the entire city looking for a job? Okay, since you couldn't branch out the supermarket to buy it for me. Give me the money, let me go and buy it by myself. Where do you expect me to get the money from? Meaning? Meaning I don't have money. What is your problem? What kind of a woman are you? Instead of you asking me and showing me to the dining table, you are here talking about money, money, money. Hey, just just hide there! I don't have time for all this your rubbish today, okay? Just give me the money for the cream, then you go and buy my cream. Come back, you are not going to cream. You are not going to cream. You are not going anywhere. Give me money. I said leave you alone. Leave me alone. You don't have any other of shame. You are not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere. You don't give me the money. Grace, you are bearing me. What will you do? What will you do? Give me money for cream, you don't give me. You can't see my father before you might be. Leave me alone. Okay, just give me money out. Give me money out. You don't give me money out. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Give me the money. Yes. Oh no, not Thomas Dallas. How is Japan? Yeah, it's fine. 
<laughs> you know, you know where these things are in this country. Okay, that would be wonderful. I'll be expecting you. Yes, sir. And uh, yes, yes. But but you know what I'm going to do, sir. When you come in, I'm going to check you into an exclusive hotel and take good care of you. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will be waiting. And I thank you so much for this call. Thank you so much, sir. I'm waiting to see you in two days. <laughs> All right, sir. Thank you. Woo. Ah. Mr. Douglas is coming in a couple of days. Um, I want those documents ready. All right? I don't want to miss out on this deal. I'm sure you know that. Mm, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have documents ready. Oh, they're ready. Yes, sir. Good. Yeah. Should I get them? Right. Yes, sir. Peter. Peter. So you're here sleeping while others are attending lectures? Amanda, I'm in school. Hmm, fine. So tell me, why didn't I see you in school today? I, um, I'm so tired, I just need what? to rest, really. What? What makes you tired? Peter, what is wrong with you? Why don't you want to help yourself? Okay. You're from a wretched family. And your poor parents are in the village borrowing money here and there just to pay your school fees. And here you are lavishing the money. Hey, 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 hey. You better watch it, okay? That particular statement I don't find funny at all. Oh, come off it. Look, I'm only concerned because you're my boyfriend. Hmm? You know what? If you don't change, you will only end up regretting your life. And if you don't keep away from those cultist friends of yours, they will destroy you because you're not of the same class with them. If they get into trouble, their rich parents will save them. But you, <laughs> nobody will come looking for you. Hmm? The word is enough for the wise. Keep sleeping. What would be the problem? I mean, why would something as simple as that become so difficult to find? I don't know. I. That's it. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe you should look in my drawers. yourself and give me some peace. Peace? <laughs> you have the nerve to ask me of peace. You will have no peace in this house. You're I promise you that. You're wasting your time. You will not Shoot have to. Shoot yourself, me. okay? And get out of my way. You are not going anywhere. Shoot yourself. You are not going anywhere. No. Come on, tell me. You must come out there and tell me who that girl is. Am I the only married man in this world? What? Don't kill me. I'm Don't kill me. Come out there and tell me. Shoot yourself. Who is that girl? Who is that girl? Oh, nonsense. Boom, 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 boom.
Martin, ma'am. Keep your greetings to yourself, you nitwit. Excuse me, ma'am. Not even one more word from you, you cheap slut. Miss, I can wrap him around my little finger whenever I want to. You think you can come in here and rip where you did not sow? Now let me sound this warning to you. The next time I see you anywhere close to my husband, even that much close to my husband, I will rip you apart. Can you hear me? I will show you a tigress in me and I will practically rip you apart. I will make sure that this town is too hot for you to stay in. Do you understand me? Be very, very careful. Be very careful, you cheap slut. My girl, for how long has this been going on? Two weeks. Two weeks? For two weeks I've been in turmoil. You know, I uh, may be hot, but I'm thinking of sucking Mirabel. Oh yeah. Um, that will bring peace to my family. I will do it. You are just being callous. That young lady has added enough feathers to your success within her short stay in your company. Moreover, that will arouse Flora's suspicion even more. She will think you've hidden her away so that the two of you can continue with your romance. Listen, friend, a clear conscience fears no accusation. Let Mirabel be. Soon Flora will find out that you are innocent. Well, I mean, when will she find out that I'm innocent? Uh, until the family is torn apart. Confused. Confused. Yeah, you don't have to be confused. Listen, if you sack Mirabel, then get ready to sack all the girls that work for you. Because tomorrow your wife might wake up and start accusing you of sleeping with all of them. She wouldn't dare to. Then be a man. Come on, drink up. You know, Grace, I'm beginning to think maybe my husband has been innocent after all. Well, if you say so. But I'll tell you this, men are not to be trusted. I can't imagine myself sit back here and watch my friend lose her husband. God forbid. Okay, I have a suggestion. That's if you're okay with it. What, what suggestion? There is this place I can take you to tomorrow, just to double check, okay? Grace, please. Yes. What kind of place? Don't worry, you find out everything you need to know when we get there. As I speak. Mirabel has tendered her resignation. What? Oh, yes. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to deal with my wife. No, you don't have to do that, Leo. Listen, you don't have to do that. You have to take things easy. Listen, if you take a drastic action, you might need to regret it. Come on, Leo. You have to find a way to pacify Mirabel, to accept back her job. Come on, that is what you have to do. Well, it's okay. It's okay. Are you okay now? Come on, let's go. You. I mean, what? Are you very sure about this guy? Please, of course, I'm very scared. I've not done something like this before, you know. Flora, you worry too much. Look, I've told you, this guy is going to do a very, very clean job. I've seen people he has done this kind of thing for before. Even that lady I told you about that lives in Abuja, he did the same thing for her. <coughs> 
mean this guy can actually go to Abuja to do this sort of job? What are you talking about? If you're willing to sponsor the trip, he will even go to America. Anyway, he needs to That's good. That means he's actually an expert. Don't worry. Wait until he starts doing the job and then you see the results for yourself. <laughs> but let me warn you again. It requires a lot of money. What is money? Eh? Okay. Grace, what is money? We're talking about my marriage here. Because you know Leona eh? He, he thinks I'm very naive. If I don't catch him red-handed, he'll keep denying this thing. Eh? He'll keep denying this thing. He thinks I'm a baby. An hour. One hour. One hour. You know what? If you get tired of um, you know staying at home and get tired of waiting, take my keys, go to your house, I'll come with you. And oh, you have to. Oh, yeah. You have to, okay? I'll be with you, I got you. And you know what? Stay out of trouble. No. Okay? That's me. Okay. Ah! What's up? I'm good, I'm good. Hi. How are you? Um, I'm shooting my friend. Hi. This is my friend Flora. Flora. Peter. Hi you guys. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Good. Hi. So um Peter, we can't talk here. We have to go somewhere private. Okay. Right. Are you free? Okay. What we want for you to follow him everywhere you go. Okay? We need evidence of all the girls he's hanging around with. So alright, um that will require lots of money because I'll need to be chattering, you know, different cars at different times. Yeah, um Peter, alright. That's not a problem, okay? I will give you anything you, you need, any amount of money you require, but now listen. The case I want you to get on right away is that of a particular girl. Her name is Mirabel and she works at my husband's office. Now I want you to follow them and catch them red handed. I want evidence. Okay? I want raw evidence of this girl and my husband. Okay, um, that will require his office address, his corporate numbers, his phone numbers, and the man's photographs. My husband is not the man. You can address him as... I'm sorry. Alright, fine. I'll give you everything you need to aid your job. Everything. So how much? Well, um... A hundred and fifty thousand naira. For starters. Okay, a hundred and... Fifty thousand naira?! Yes, I mean, do you know the logistics involved here? You know I need to be chattering cars, I need to be getting into hotels, I, I need to pay lots of people to do this business for okay. me, I'm not doing this alone. Okay, no problems. I'll, I'll give it to you. Cool. What, you want it by now? I know you want the business done immediately, right? Yeah, okay. Our home is broken Love used to be here before but there is no love anymore Oh, it's broken Our home is broken We used to be happy every day But happiness has gone away Our home is broken Let's face the truth
What was that? Okay, the documents. Um, okay, okay. Well, I thought you left with them. Alright, let me check. Let me check. Let me look for it in the office. Alright, so. Okay, so. Alright. You don't get paid to, you understand?
Hey, baby. <laughs> Who are those ladies? Those ladies? Yeah. Uh, they're my friends. Your friends? Yeah. How do you mean? Hey, wait, what's this? What do, you, what do you mean by how do I mean? Yeah. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you monitoring me? Or were you spying on me? What? The commenters are trying to stop that attitude. What's that? No, you should stop it. Peter, you don't have to walk out on me. Look. You have to Of my business, but Grace, I have to ask you this question. What is it? I mean, why are you bent on, you know, destroying Florence's marriage, really? That's none of your business. No, 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 it is my business because I'm the one doing the job for you. Well, if you and I have been friends since our secondary school days. But she made me take it. I've been with him for a very long time now and he's nice and all, scary and but James, hell God, James has mad money. Oh my God, he has mad money and he's going to be able to take care of me and buy me everything that I want, you know, take me places. As in, I'm really confused, I don't know what to pick. Are you done? Oh, they are done? Yes, I'm done. Okay. See your mouth, eh? This. James has mad money. He, he can buy me this. He can buy me that. He can buy me that, 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 that. Ha! I don't know what you're trying to do. You have been dating Gose for a very long time. How long now? What, two years? Come on now. I know him. Your family knows him. We all know where he got his money from. Okay, maybe he's not buying you everything you want in this world. But at least he's trying and he's meeting your needs. He has a promising future. He has a good career. He's a professional. You know. But this James now, all of a sudden, he has mad money. He's doing mad the, money. No, but the annoying part is we don't know where he's getting his money from. I don't know him. The family does not know him. Nobody knows this guy. Yeah, I know him. We made his money abroad. Though. You don't know him. You know his money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's the same thing. But at least, uh, you know, at least I'll get to know him. Yes, who do you know him or his money? Both of them. I'll get to know him. I don't like what you're doing. No, 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 seriously. So you really think it's your choice? No, it's your choice, Shabu. If you ask me, oh, seriously, I think you're better off with Gose. You guys have been consistent now. So you're saying now that I should marry Gose? Yes. <sighs> Oh, 
you're back from work so early. Hope everything is fine. Hope everything is fine. Oh, what is the problem? What's the problem? I have been sacked. Sacked? What for? Because I didn't go to work for those three days I was in your village carrying your mother from one hospital to the other. But you should have explained all that to them now. Didn't you tell them? I did. But they wouldn't take it. Why? It's one of the company's policy. No one misses work for two consecutive days. So you knew about it? Should I have allowed your sick mother to die? It's not your fault. Sorry? expect me to be wallowing in poverty while she is in affluence. No. But come on, come on. I mean, there's still not enough to justify your present action, really. But Peter, that's not your business. Why are you going soft all of a sudden? You've been paid for this job, okay? So just do it. All right, slow down, relax, okay? Take a chill pill, okay? Uh, yeah. I'll share of this present deal. So where are you headed to now? Well, I'm off to see my workers. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, take care, yeah? All right. So don't forget. Uh, no problem. We're not catching. All right, take care. Broken. 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 Our home is broken. Love used to be here before. But there is no love anymore. Oh, it's broken Our home is broken We used to be happy every day But happiness has gone away but Our home is broken Let's face the truth It's broken Just a bit because it's interesting no microphone. Where is the microphone? Did you? Did you count it? No, no, no. You should have counted. Yeah, hello. Leonard, what is it again? Leonard, don't worry. I thought I've told you time without number to stop calling my line. What is it? Really venture or whatever you're called, I don't care to know. What? God, I said I'm not coming again now. Is it my boss? Please just let me be. Oh. Was that why you paid me 30,000 naira after sleeping with me? No way. <laughs> what did I say? Oh, 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 oh. You wait as well as pay the hotel bill without consulting me, right? Now listen and listen to Leonardo Dokbara. Go back to the hotel and collect whatever money you pay there because I'm not coming. All oh, thanks. Thank you. What is it again? Imagine the details. Yeah. I know what you're paying for. Things are like those cheap parts you used to pay those for those days. Just go home. Let's go to your home. Rain, I'm really upset. Just get out of here. Just let me finish. Let's get out of here. Oh. Sorry. You know, I really wonder why a man will have a woman like you. I 
massive one for us to achieve. Well, trust me when I say you know, one gift, one miracle. Just my debts to you. No, you don't owe me anything. You work so hard. You know you. It's how you deserve your pay. No wonder. I don't do this well. Trust me. that I always come to the school. Um, I expected you to introduce me to her properly, but you didn't. Why? And I keep telling you, I've told you before, now I'm telling you again she's my friend's wife. Now, which of your friends? And uh, what business do you have with her? <sighs> okay, here we go. Look, um, Her brother-in-law, you know, my friend's younger brother, uh, is a jambite, okay? Now, my friend is quite busy, so she is taking care of my friend's younger brother's affairs. Now, himself being a jambite, he wants to gain admission into our school, so I'm helping out. Simple. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure, baby. I'm sure you know I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Got you. And forever you are gone. And forever you are gone. I thank you, Lord, you are holy. And forever you are gone. And forever you are gone. I thank you, Lord, you are home. What is all this noise for? And I said, what is all this noise for? <laughs> if it is because of this rice that I'm eating, I promise you're not going to taste the grain out of it. <laughs> Come on, darling. Just give me food. Let me eat. I have good news for you. Hey! Which God. food? God. This rice that I borrowed money to cook. I swear, you are not going to taste it. And I'm what is the good news you can bring? I'm holy. Holy. And forever you are. Okay, okay. darling. You are not going to give me any food, okay? But now, listen, let me tell you. Remember some time ago I told you I submitted an application to Global Oil Servicing Company, PLC. I'm now listening to the good news. I have been given a job as an assistant marketing manager in the southwest region with mild water salary of 36 million naira per annum. It is God. Hey! I thank you, Lord, you are holy. And forever you are God. Bye bye to poverty. I thank you, Lord, you are whole. Eta, 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 and forever you are. Wait, let me show you. You think I'm joking, eh? <laughs> this God, this God, this God. I thank you, Lord, you are whole. Darling, just look at it. And forever you are God. And forever you are God. I thank you, Lord, you are holy. 
I'm forever you are go. Bye bye to poverty. Thank you, Lord, you are holy. I'm forever you are go. Forever you are go. Thank you, Lord. That's my baby. No more for that. <laughs> wow. So you mean Gozi got a job and that's why I come here? <laughs> Sweetie, I still can't believe it. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. You better believe it actually. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. So where is he now? Well, it's their game day today, so he's out at the club, you know, for his night. Mm. Just having fun, yeah? Wow. That's nice. Really nice. <sighs> Grace. Yeah. I have a problem. What is it? You have another problem. Despite the one I had. Um it's Peter. Peter. What's yeah. About What's about him? <sighs> um You know, all of a sudden, the way I'm actually getting very fond of that guy disturbs me. <laughs> Please, don't tell me you're beginning to fall in love with him. Please, don't. I don't know. <laughs> Flora! Shh. Stop. Oh, God. Oh god, oh god. Anyways, all I would say is if that's what you really want, it's your life, so do what you want. So that's all you have to say? Yes, yeah, so it's your life. Okay. That's all you have to say? Yeah. Good friend. Very good friend. <laughs> oh my god, this is funny. Sorry darling, it was a very, very, very late meeting I had and it was terrible. And I guess this was the bone of contention in this business meeting. A lipstick stain on your shirt. You know, Leonard, if you're going to tell me a lie, at least make an effort and tell me an intelligent lie. I don't even care what you do with your life really right now. You can actually go back to wherever you came from. Just make sure you freaking lock the door. saw them that day discussing. I suspected that something was going on between them. But you know, you have to talk it over with him. I have already done that yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yes. And he keeps telling me the same thing. Look, the way we just spent money, a lot of businessmen don't. I mean, I'm very sure that one is funny him with money. I'm sure. So, so what are you going to do about it? Iberi, you're still asking me. Of course I'm going to do everything I have to to know who that woman is. Even if you take the last drop of my blood, I will. <laughs> well, anyway, um, Professor Sani's class um, is in the next 30 minutes, so I have to rush down to the hostel to do a few things um, and get back in time. Are you going? Of course, no. I don't have the strength. <laughs> I'd rather wait. Take it easy. I'm well, okay? Huh? <laughs> Are you not making it? I'm seeing you go. <laughs> oh, boys. So that's the big racket, man. Oh, Peter. Oh. I think her husband is innocent. And what's your business? Don't you get it? 
if she understands that her husband is clean. That means no more deal, no more dough. Look, we as young men, we just need to extract money from her heavy paws. Don't you understand? We need it. I could even go the extra mile of making her my sugar mommy, you know. Peter. Uh, yes, that's my name. What are you talking about? Uh, don't even start acting up, man. What's your problem? Look, when you see a rich woman, what do you do? You suck her dry. That's the game. Yeah, she's the one calling us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, dear. Flora. Okay, okay. Um, I'll meet you up, huh? Okay. Alright. Mama, man, she's waiting for me somewhere. I got this. Peter, wait, wait. You know who you are? You are a smooth operator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> smooth operator. Well, the reason why I suggested uh, we get a room here instead of being at the bar is because um, what we have to discuss is quite confidential. I mean, there are people at the bar and you don't want people putting us together and then in the end blowing up the cover. You understand me? I don't understand. So can we get through with this now? You ready? Yeah. Good. Your husband has been having an affair with a particular lady in his office. Yesterday, to be precise, he picked her up 12 p.m., took her to an eatery. I followed them. And trust me, they stayed there over two hours. The mood wasn't just friendly, but beyond friendly. Are you okay? okay? We need to calm down. Yeah. I need to calm down. Just take it easy, okay? Calm down. What am I doing? How could I even allow myself to think about this? Not to talk of doing it. How could I sleep with this guy? Jeez. But he's such a wonderful person. Very sympathetic, caring. Oh God. This is wrong. But those do not even deserve my fidelity. Especially after all these several affairs with different ladies. No. He doesn't deserve me. He deserves this. He deserves this. Sorry. All of what happened wasn't intentional. Look, as a matter of fact, I was drunk. Yes. I Please. Not today, okay? Spare me your whole sermon. Our home is broken. Love is to be here before. But there is no love anymore. 
is broken Our home is broken We used to be happy every day But happiness has gone away Our home is broken Wow! You look different. Uniquely different. So, you like? I love everything. <laughs> okay. So tell me, what have I done to deserve? What, um, the lunch? And, um... <laughs> well, I don't know. It's just my own little way of saying thank you. You know, for everything you've done so far. Actually, for a job well done. And I say, thank you, you're welcome. Oh, it really fascinates me why people do not value their priceless treasure. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. You're full of passion and uh, I must say you are very, very delicate to be going through this present emotional trauma. I look at your face and I see a rose that should be handled with care so as not to wither. Sincerely, I wish I were him, you know. Gosh. <laughs> Those are really nice things to say. You're welcome. Your words could actually melt a nice block, you know? Really? You know... My husband has not always been like this. No. Actually, he used to be... He used to be very... Very loving. We actually were the envy of every couple we came across. <laughs> but everything changed, you know? A couple of months ago, everything just changed. I don't know if it's the success or... S you know... But we're much happier when we're less successful. I actually played a vital role in building that company. I played a vital role in adding to the success story he is today. And what do I get in return? For all my dedication and love to him, in betrayal. Sometimes I don't even know if success is a prospect. I don't think so. I don't know how he became the beast he is today. I can't stand the way to cry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're beautiful and you deserve a constant smile on your beautiful face. You have me. And when you need a true friend to talk to, you don't hesitate to call me because I love you. Broken. Our home. It's 
Ah, <laughs> Mrs. Williams. Yeah, good day, sir. Yeah, welcome. I decided to bring him home since no one came to pick him. Oh, Junior. Yes. Ah, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> actually, my wife went on a very important function, so oh. I, I'm sure she will have oh, problems okay. with traffic. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. No problem. No problem. <laughs> I would like to take my leave now. All right. Okay. Thank you. Now, my regards to your wife when she came back. Oh, I'll do just that. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you must say bye to Auntie. Virginia, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Thank, bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you so much, Mrs. Bye -bye. Williams. All right. Bye. So, um, what do I get you? No, nothing. I, I, I've had enough. We had a lot to drink and eat at the eatery, you remember? Yeah, excuse me, you just came to my place, so you should have some. <laughs> you know, also, what do I get you? But I'm fine. You know what? I know what to get you. Light goes, very light. Okay. I'm just trying to get something proper for us to toast to our companionship. To friendship. Friendship it is then. Yeah. <laughs> 
sick sometimes. I think I drug myself to stupor. Okay, um, so... Why don't you take a rest today? I actually think I'm feeling woozy. I, I need to go home. No, 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 no. You cannot yeah. drive in this condition. You need to take a rest, okay? Oh. You know, I'll just I'll just um, stay here for like 10 minutes. I just need 10 minutes no, to clear no, my hair. No. Oh my God, Listen, it's, it's really very hot here, right? It's not conducive for you to sleep here, so you need to just, you know, come stay in my room. It's okay. Okay, do you have a guest room? Look, I'm a student, but I live in a two-bedroom flat, so I have one, huh? So you have a guest yeah, room? Yeah, yeah. All right, fine. I can, I can go to your guest room. All right, room. good, good. No problem. All right, now, yeah. I'm trying to get up. Wow. There's a lot of alcohol in that stuff. Yeah, just this way. Take it easy, okay? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Okay. I think so. Yeah. I think I'm fine. Are you sure? Is there something you're not telling me? You know... I really should be freaking out right now, I mean... After what just happened, this is really weird, but... I actually feel calm. This is not right. Oh. It's... something is really wrong. Well, trust me, nothing is wrong. It's actually called chemistry. Chemistry? Yeah. <laughs> this is trouble chemistry. No, no, no. It's actually sweet chemistry. <laughs> something something what exactly does that mean in English who well, am I something something is called sense Emilia sense Emilia yeah. what is that <laughs> what is what you guys call um, marijuana it <laughs> will you took a substance I know you're not hiding from civilization. Listen, that thing is good to me. If you're a student, you shouldn't be taking that. What? What do you think you're doing? I, I thought you said this woman here is your friend's wife. Oh, so you're not sleeping with your friend's wife? Yeah, Amanda, come on, slow down, okay? I mean, you're overreacting right uh -huh. now. Uh-huh. Look, let, let's do this outside, okay? This is wrong, all right? Do you know what? There's nothing to sell out, okay? Because I've seen everything! I've seen everything! Fuck you! Okay, fine! Fine! I'll get back to you. Place. Does that explain why you should abandon my son at school? I did not abandon him. Okay. I actually left the place very early trying to go pick up Junior, but there was this terrible traffic on the on, on the way. I just got stuck. 
and I, I, I frantically tried to call your your line, but the network was bad. I hope this won't repeat itself. Of course not. Come to think about it, I wanted uh, some potato chips. Ijoma didn't make anything for dinner. She didn't make anything for dinner. Oh. I'm sorry, that's because I, I didn't call her. I'll go fix it. This one and keeps deceiving you. I mean, that she's his friend's wife. Exactly! Though I didn't believe him, but uh, 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 I was looking for an opportunity to prove him wrong. Now it has happened. Men. Men will always be men. And that's why I don't trust them. This is you know what? What? I am going to trace that woman. I am going to trace her to know who she is. Her family and husband. In fact, everything about her. And I, and I need you to help me. Huh? How? I'll tell you. Okay. Tell me. Oh. Baby is not what you think, okay? It's not what I think. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. Tell me what I think. I just, what happens is, is uh, I just, you know, I kind of... I, 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 you see, you can't even talk because you don't know what to say. Peter, just look at yourself. Just, just look at yourself. A young man with a bright future. You want to ruin your life by sleeping with another man's wife. Don't you know it's a cause upon yourself? Send lectures, you won't. Sit at home and study, you can't. Instead, you chose um, going about chasing another man's wife. Hey, come on, baby, slow down, okay? Slow down, look, I got you. I'm sorry, it's not going to happen again, huh? Come on, baby, come on. Let that smile out, come on, baby, come on. Come on, come on, let it out, let it out. Let it out. Okay, um, if you're sure it won't happen again. Of course I'm sure it won't happen again. Come on, you might be a big one, so I'm sure. No, I got you like that. I got you, baby. Are you sure? I'm sure, baby. I'm sure. Why is that a useless madam? Why is that madam? Excuse me, ma, you don't just badge in here and start to point yourself. Who are you? Yes. She wants to know who I am. Yes. Abby? Until I turn this shop upside down before you go and call her, Abby. No, what is that? No, you can't. Uh huh? Mother, it's you again. Mm -hmm. Don't give me that. I have come to warn you to stay away from my boyfriend, Peter. If I see you anywhere and inch close to him, I will show you the other side of you. This is just a woman. Will you get out of my store right now? Oh. Use less room. Of course, I will get out. Let me stick to your head. But I get out! Well, yeah. If you come back here again next time, I'll break your two skinny legs. It's not like that, you don't scare me. What was that? I don't know. You allowed a woman come into my store and start dancing all over the place. Why did you call me to come and take care of her? I'm sorry, ma'am. Don't ever let that happen in my store again. No. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Hello, Peter. Peter, can you hear me? Amanda, why would you do that? No, tell me, why would you do a thing like that? I mean, why, why, why would you go to Flora's shop 
and cause a scene there. I mean, keep harassing her. Why would you do that? Um, is there anything wrong? Every single thing is wrong with it. What you did was absolutely unacceptable. I mean, why? Do you know she could have done something terrible to you? Mm -hmm. Do you know she could have actually called the police and said you were a robber? Do you know that? She dares not. I mean, by the way, why are you protecting her? Oh, wait, wait. It's like you're still interested in that woman. Peter. Peter, if I see you anywhere close to her, I will do worse than that. Bet me. Listen to me. You're taking this thing too far, you understand me? You're mm -hmm. taking it too far. Oh, come on, you can say whatever you like. That is your business. I can say whatever I like. Yes. It's my business. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you better watch it. Watch it, you're going too far. Watch it. Watch it. Oh, you're working out, right? Come on. Okay. So, Peter is still interested in that one. Some will say they love you and pretend to care So you better beware
Why you still mad at what Amanda did? Like, come on, she's a little girl. You should understand now. Little girl. Yes. Peter, that little girl has become a threat to both our lives. Okay? So this is what I want you to do. I want you to quit the relationship with that girl. Because your life and my life are no more safe right now. Wait, hold on. You seriously want me to quit my relationship with Amanda? And why not? Come on. Look, Amanda is... So look, she has been my guardian angel on campus, okay? She does everything for me. She's like my umbrella, my envelope. I mean, that girl has been we go way back. Okay, not today. Come on, I mean, come on. I mean, because I've heard all of that before. Okay, yes, she's your supporter. She's your this. She's your that. She spends money. She helps you out in school. Okay, I'm gonna make you an offer right now. Everything Amanda does for you, I will do double. Okay, I know she gives you money in school to help you out with your studies and all of that. I will put some money in your account, in your name. And what's more, I know that you've been agitating to have a car. Okay, so I will buy you the car. Now what do you say? Wait, hold on. <laughs> if I quit my relationship with Amanda, you're going to give me money. And you're going to buy me a car. You heard me. You know what? Amanda, you are gone, okay? Amanda, it is over. If I see you anywhere close to me, you are dead, okay? It is red flag, red ribbon, red card. Baby, are you happy now because Amanda is gone? Gone. Gone. Trust me. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> okay. I'm happy. At least for now. Until I see that she's truly gone and never in our lives again. Maybe she's gone. Trust then I'll be really happy. Maybe she's gone, like gone. Cool. So. So what? Guess what? You tell me. I got you a little son, son. Is it? Will you get your legs off, you naughty boy? Uh huh. You would not believe this. You didn't see this coming. Yeah. <laughs> you got my boy. <laughs> you got my sensibility. Yeah. You got my shadow. <laughs> Man, you got that thing that's good to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I don't know if it's a member, but how did, how did you get this? Oh, so that's what you guys call it. Yeah. I'm not a member. Yeah. That was it. I mean, I got turned back a couple of times where I was persistent. I went back. I made calls. I, I did my inquiries. I paid. I prayed. And I brought you your thing. Okay. Because I'm hopeful that you will do that. Your thing. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe I'm talking like this. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, I'm just going to do justice to this, huh? Ah, ah, ah. Off you go. Whatever you do, don't do it in front of me, please. Okay. Just go and come back the boy I want to see next. Okay, I'm just going to dress for you. I'll be back with you. Our home is a You got me sense. But there is no love anymore Oh, it's broken Our home is broken We used to be happy every day But happiness has gone away
pumpkin. I said, come here, come. What is the time by your wristwatch? Ten thirty. Now is that the right time for a married woman to come back to her family? Grace wasn't feeling well and she called me to come. Oh, damn it! Grace! Grace! Oh, Grace! All the time! That's the sole excuse you've been given to me for the past three months for spending late nights outside. You're not ashamed. Are you not ashamed that you cannot even stay in your own home and prepare dinner for your man? Man, my foot. You heard me. So now you know. You know how it hurts for one to violate marital principles, eh? Now you know. You should have gone to one of your so-called to come and make your dinner. Male slut. Meal slot. That's what you are. One more insult from you, and you'll bring out the beast in me. Bring it out. You're not bring out the beast in you. My Tyson. You heard me. Meal slot. That's what you are. Don't come here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? But there is no love anymore Oh, it's broken Our home is broken It's to be happy every day But happiness has gone away Our home is broken Let's face the truth it's broken For me and you It's broken Our home is broken Broken You go your way Broken I go my way It's broken Our home is broken into What can I do? Broken I'm still in love with you Why do you want to know everything? Uh, is that supposed to be an answer to my question? All right, okay, it's my car. Your car? Yes, my car. Uh, wait, did you just say your car? Peter, I'm very sure you do nothing else than schooling. Uh, so, where did you get the money to buy this car? Hey, 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 look, I've had it to hear with you, you understand me? Look, I'm tired of you trying to know every single thing about me. You know what? This relationship, this thing we call a relationship, is over. You understand me? Over. What? Yes, you heard me. Over. I don't want to see you anywhere close to me. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. Please get out of my compound. 
Amanda should leave your compound. You don't want to leave? Alright, fine. Stay here, but don't you dare get into my apartment. You understand me? Don't. Peter! Peter, I am sure that one has poisoned your mind. Spoiled and deceived me with money. Okay, fine. She has gotten you like that. Peter, sooner or later you regret what you've done to your life. Can, can, can you just... Peter! Peter! No, honestly, I no longer feel safe in my apartment. You know what? To hell with that girl. Okay? I'll get him at the apartment. Go out to town, scavenge, and pick any apartment you like. Let me know the price and I'll pay you. That's our new car. Come on, just take a look. This is our car. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's go. You mean this is our car? Yeah. <laughs> Sweetie, what is it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way I behaved when we had problems. Now I truly believe that no condition is permanent. It's okay, my darling. You see, anything that happens to a man in this world is a lesson. And I believe I've learned so many lessons. Okay? Hmm? Please, please just forgive it's me. It's okay. Please. I have forgiven you and I love you. Hmm? Just anything here right now. I will say, why don't you relax with what you have already? I mean, the woman in question bought you a car, paid in enough money to your account. Remember, she also promised to pay for a good accommodation for you if you find any. You are also sleeping with the man's wife. I mean, what else do you want from that family? Hey, guy, you don't understand. Then make me a man. Don't don't walk out that woman. Go far from that woman. Don't understand. Don't walk out that woman. So what do you want to do now? Oh, now go ask him. Listen, there's something that you need to do for me. I'm going to pay you good money. Alright? This is what you do. I don't know what to do. That's 
going too far. No, 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 no. Please count me as a gamble. I'm not part of it at all. What do you mean? You don't want to do. No, dude, 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 forget you're my best friend. I have men outside. Bro. I have men in, on campus. Where they to go. I'm not saying you can ask me money. Bro. Okay, stay. stay. You don't want to no, do wait, wait, no, wait, 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 no, 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 like this. That was for you today. Oh my god, shoot this one, let's leave that guy. Why the husband won't waste that just like that? So, so, so the lady just is shake, she shake. Piro! Piro! I make this parrot now. Nothing the happen. I said, Daddy, I get to double your pain. No, no, no. Let me explain the first. Don't even tell me, say you. Forget my dad. Keep my dad for my dad. I'm not going to be a good one. I'm not going to be a good one. And like, what's the problem? I'll be calling you now. Oh, okay. Are you done with the car now? Good, good. Um, let's bring it right to the office. I'm about closing for work, please. I'm about closing for the day. All right. Just make it fast, Emeka, please. All right, thank you. Oh, 
Poor McFadden. Poor boy. Oh. What would a maker have done wrong? Who did he offend? Could it have been me? I guess. Sir, should I bring your food for you? Uh, what what food is that? No, no, he's in the Don't worry. Mm -hmm. uh, go, on, go, on, go. On. Yeah. Um, where did your auntie say she was going? I saw her when she was going and she told me that she won't be back tonight. She told you that she will not come back to this house tonight? Yes, but that is what she told me. Okay, all right. Suspecting I probably have her having this death. Uh, please listen, they don't have any evidence. They have no evidence. Besides, these people never knew you had a problem with them. Yeah, but I mean, I still think that we need to, you know, just take things easy for now. Especially the next steps we take. Right now, I actually need to go find out where he deposited his corpse. The shooting took place right in front of his office it's on the street. There is. You know, come to think of it. Uh, why hasn't anyone called you to inform you of his death? Switched up my. My husband, I just killed here, Peter. Gosh. <laughs> you know, sometimes I just wonder how I got to this point. You just have to look forward to the Yesterday when 
when I was coming back from my store, this man double crossed me on the road and kidnapped me and they, they took me to the bush. And they said they were trying to reach me through you, they were trying to kill you. And they kept me there all night till this morning. And all of a sudden, these boys came back into the bush and, and set me free, telling me that they have killed you. So I, that's why I was shocked when I saw you. There was an incident in my office. The maker has been killed. The maker of the mechanic. This is true. The maker is killed. Confession. Let's see the family doctor immediately. Did they, did they hurt you? No. No. The maker of the mechanic is dead. It's a maker they killed. It was a maker they killed. No, 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 it's impossible. No, that's so impossible. I mean, you know he's alive? No, 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 no. I was there when he was shot. So it was the ghost I saw this man, right? <sighs> this is true. This is true. Look, I was there, he was shot severally. He should be dead by now. You know, he should be dead. Are you saying you didn't have any bullet wound? No, 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 there's something strange here. Something like what? Like what? Look, I, I, I think, you know, your husband uses some kind of charm to protect himself yeah. from gunshots. Trust me, there's something mysterious, something diabolic. He is not. You cannot say he is not. Come on, think. After being shot three times. <laughs> yes. But if you ask me, your own life is in danger. And you need to do something real, real fast. Because if he can survive gunshots without a wound, you got to do something fast. What do I do? What do I do? Because right now I am scared and I am confused. What do I do? See, that's the point. I think he knew something. Do fast. Exactly, because the way he looked at me this morning, there has to be something on his mind. My husband is a cultist. And fortification. What?
Do you think that brings with a natural ring of the present that she can Oh! Hey, Joma. Yes, aunt. Um, Thomas is at the door. Go get the door. Great! The police finally released my car today. Ah, oh, finally! <laughs> so it was a good day. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. What about Mika? What happened to him? Well, um, after too much talk, actually, the police finally released his cops to his. Uh, People and I was able to give them some money for the bearer. Oh, you God. know, it was a good day for me. Thank God. Have you taken anything? No, I took something. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be fine. Don't worry. I need to just run along and, you know, go have a shower. I'll set the table. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> but why don't you join me? Oh, sweetie, you just run along. Let me prepare the table, okay? Come on. All right. Junior, go with your daddy. Come on. All right. Go! Shower, come back to mommy and have dinner. Started like I told you. Are you sure you took to my instructions? Of course I did. What? You asked me to put this thing two pints with, 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 with my my heel. Yeah. That's exactly what I did. But this freaking place didn't work. You see it? Have you seen that that man is so so diabolic? Have you seen it? Oh please. This whole thing is becoming more and more sinister by the day. You know what? We just have to have a change of plan. No. No, no, that's it. I've had it. No more, no more. Look, this is becoming more and more horrifying by the day. I mean, look, ever since this whole journey started, my whole soul and mine has, has not been at peace. I, I can't do this anymore. Hey, 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 we can't stop now. Look, you just have to finish it. Yes, we have to. Your life is in danger. Have you forgotten? What if those guys had shot you and killed you? Huh? Will you tell me? Do you know you'd have been dead by now and you'd have been in your grave and your husband would have moved on and probably would have gotten himself married to somebody who attended your funeral? Come on! Yes, 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 like that. that is what could happen! Come on, think! Oh, Lord. You know, I have to go. I'll talk to you later. Show you the fun. Oh, 
you put me up to it and I have to deliver. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Seriously, this looks so professional. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Are you sure you're ready for this? Are you sure you're up to this? Yes. Uh, I think it's time. Okay. Let's get the road. Your madam, uh, Mrs. Flora. Oh, oh, oh. So fortunate. She just drove out now. Oh, my God. Tell me, Mr. Oh. Please, do you have any idea when she'll be back? Because I have to get back to anywhere today. Oh, no, no, no. <sighs> Call her now. Why don't you have a phone number? Yeah. That's the thing. I have a low battery and my phone is switched off. You know? And I can't, I can't even get to the house right now because there'll be no one there. You know, please do me a favor. Can you direct me to the way to the husband's office? I'm a little bit confused. It's better for me to tell him why I came. You know? Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Um, what's the name again? Kitchen. Nice name. Have a nice day. Bye. Yes, uh, young lady. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <sighs> yes. What can I do for you? Uh, by the way, <laughs> where are you? I'm sorry. My name is Amanda. And I've come to beg you to please help me run your wife to leave my boyfriend for me. Gently, she wouldn't listen. I've talked to her in a violent way, she wouldn't listen. That's why I came here to tell you to please talk to her before I do something nasty. You mean my wife, Flora, is dating your boyfriend? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, young lady, but this is spurious. How am I supposed to sit down here in my office and believe what you're sitting down there telling me? I know it's difficult for you to believe. It might also interest you to know that she bought him a new car and is about to rent a new house for him. In here are all the proofs she need. Please beg her for me.
Yes? I was told you're calling me. Why are you looking at me like that? Or one of your girlfriends has um, <laughs> provoked you. Sit down. Thank you, I'm fine where I am. What is it? I said, sit down. Peter. Hmm? I said, who is Peter? I don't understand. Who is Peter? I mean, Peter what? Peter... Peter who? You're asking me the same question I just asked you. Well, that's because I don't know what you mean by who, who is Peter. You didn't give us something. Who, who is Peter? Peter who? You don't know who I'm talking about. Explanation. Hmm? You just bought him a car. Oh, yes. You're making efforts, I mean, frantic efforts, to get him accommodation. Maybe a place where both of you can hop now. Uh, my name is Peter. Mr. Leonard, right? Uh, 
Listen, I'm your wife's boyfriend. You've been preventing me from having a wife, which is a bad thing. I know you're about to kick your wife out of the marriage and out of your house, right? 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 Okay, good. You know what? I'm going to say the promise you because I now know that. Alright? So you have a say, say hi to my grandpa. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No! Then, I'm really enjoying this house. It is so peaceful. Okay, you know what? Um, Grace, there's a problem. Um, Nunat came to the house today, ranting down the whole house. In fact, there is fire. Nunat brought pictures of Peter and I frolicking around the whole city. What? How did he come around such pictures? I don't know. I don't know, Grace. I suspect that he has somebody follows everywhere around taking pictures of, of Peter and I. Peter, Peter, I feel so sorry for you. Oh, my dear, you know we just moved into this very big house now. And I'm still very busy with the interior decor as I'm designing the house to my taste. That's been a very, very big job for me. So, are you sick? I'm talking about my house. My matrimony home. My, fa my family is on fire. You're telling me about the interior decor. What is wrong with you now? Can't you be serious for once? You know, now that God has finally restored peace in my marriage and blessed my lovely, lovely, wonderful husband and I, I thought it so hard not to be putting my mouth in anybody's family problems. So you have to tackle your problems on yourself. Grace! I don't understand. What is going on with you now? Why are you talking like this? Do you want my mind to scatter, Abby? Do you know what I'm doing with you? Do you know what I'm doing with you? Do you know what I'm doing with you? Do you know what I'm doing What is all this? You had a problem and you asked for my help. I only gave you an idea. The fact that I introduced you to Peter, did, did, did I tell you to go and start sleeping with him like a dog? Face me, dog. Hey. Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. Thank you very much. All I know is that you're, you're a wicked woman. You're a wicked woman, you're a very wicked person. In fact, you're a demon, you're a witch. What you are? Calm down, calm down, don't shout, eh? Don't, don't shout now. You know what? Don't, don't worry, just go. I'll, I'll find them and come and see you. Eh? Okay. Grace, 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 this is a very serious thing. I will come now. Grace, follow me. I will come, I will come. Go, eh? My, my mother is not in that state right now. Are you blessed? Don't worry, my dear. I will come and oh, see you. Oh, God, bye bye. Grace. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh God! Why oh, did this to me? Oh God, I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm Laura, finished. Please stop crying. Oh, no matter how long you cry for, it's never going to bring your husband back. Oh, please. All right. The reason why we Romans Kisne came from the village is to arrange to take his cops to the mortuary and fix a date for his burial. But you are now telling us that the corpse is missing. Honestly, we are not happy about that. This is strange. The people that murdered him and carried his corpse. What are they going to do with his body? I don't know. I don't know. Or are they ritualists? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Flora. My husband. You said uh, that this young man here is the police officer investigating the matter. Yes, sir. Um, officer, please. What is the best line of action? Uh, everything is in order. Um, we're making sure that the criminals are actually brought to face the world. Of the world. Leonard, is it you or your ghost? Please, don't talk to us. Uncle, I'm alive. It's me. I am not dead. Officer, 
This is the bastard that shot me. He connived with my wife to kill me so they can take over everything I have worked for all my life. What? Flora, that you told her that this boy is the officer investigating this matter. Impersonation. Offense number two. Officer, please do your job. Do your job. Go and handcuff him immediately. Okay. Hold on. Mr. Leonard. I know this is the end of the road for me. I know I'm going to jail. But I'd like to tell you that the reason you've been having problems with your wife is because I've been feeding her with wrong and false information. Flora. The photographs. The girls who made the phone call at your shop. The men who tried to shoot you. And then I told you were from your husband. Everything was planned by me and my partner. Huh? Yes. Of course I have a part. She brought me into this. She initiated everything. My partner actually hates you so much for making her marry somebody who is not affluent. While you enjoy the riches in your marital bliss. <laughs> and you ask who this my partner is? What? What is this guy talking about? I don't know what he's talking about. 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 I don't know what he's talking but there is no love anymore Oh, it's broken Our home is broken We used to be happy every day But happiness has gone away Our home is broken Let's face the truth is broken for me and you, it's broken. Our home is broken in two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Broken. You go your way. Broken. I go my way.